catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarasito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Hello everyone and Katribu. I'm Dina Ventura. And I'm Francine Marquez. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Perfect. Perfect. Wow, Dina, it's jacket weather yeah, today, yeah. But why do you look so sporty? Ah, aba, because our guest today is a fitspiration, so <laughs> binabagayan lang natin. Uh -huh. And you look so businesslike today. Eh, kasi, I thought we were facing like the top honcho of a Ay. big corporation. Yeah, well, I guess it's <laughs> the best of both, di ba? Yeah, so, galing. yeah, without uh, further ado, yes. talaga naman Please ado. ado. <laughs> With, I would like to introduce to you our guest, but first of all, he, uh, we were trying to find the perfect adjectives for him because he's been doing a lot. He's multi-hyphenated, di ba? Yes. Daming ginagawa. Multi-hyphenated yeah. before multi-hyphenated was born. Yes, di ba? <laughs> before. Uh, so, we found this Instagram with posts which are very interesting, di ba? Yes. And we also found his description on his Instagram very exciting. So from there, maybe we'll introduce him according to how he introduces himself on Instagram. He's a global citizen, a tireless corporate executive, a taipan in the making, an Ironman triathlete, a father, brother, and a good son, and a captured heart. Hi, wow. Interesting. Man. Yeah, but... <laughs> For, but aside from that, of course, we also know him as the COO and the EVP of Century Pacific Foods. So, everybody, mga katribo, let's welcome our guest today, Mr. Gregory Banzon. Hello, Good hello. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's such an Good honor afternoon. to have you here finally. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, okay. sir. So, uh, shall we begin with the captured yes, heart? Yes, of course, with the captured heart <laughs> <laughs> and quarantined heart kasi yeah. because of the lockdown. Sir, how have you been during the pandemic? At this oh, I've been what very busy. Like? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's been, we were anticipating that there was going to be some form of a lockdown. So we actually were doing drills and um, we were trying to uh, anticipate what the lockdown was going to entail and we were practicing work from home and mm. how to keep the plants running mm. uh, but then in the uh, ironically march 16 was the first day of our supposed uh, dry run oh. and it was the actual first day of the ecq situation. and but we've um, we are a major a market shareholder for mm -hmm. especially for packaged foods mm -hmm. for the Philippines yeah. and in some markets abroad mm -hmm. more than 60 percent I guess if you put all of the brands together so we needed to really keep our plants running but mm -hmm. uh, uh, food security to the Philippines because if 60 65 percent of the supply runs out uh, then there might there there will be shortages so mm -hmm. uh, to your question um, the biggest role was to always keep the employees safe uh, while keeping our production lines running and uh, sustaining deliveries to the stores uh, and to our consumers. I see. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you predicted this very well. What kind of preparations did you have in mind before we even had an ECQ? You were already planning to put them in place. Yeah, we were trying out Zoom already and mm -hmm. Google Meets, the different mm -hmm. work platforms on how to stay connected with each other. And um, the rotation of people coming to work uh, and those who will be required to work from home. So there were classified, we had to classify those who were critical employees that needed to come to the office. 
And so we provided like um, shuttle services, uh, uh, dorms, and hoteling systems that they could use to uh, to be able to come to work safely. And then ways by which we will transport uh, our employees and workers to the factories. Um, so that kind of preparation. So uh, yung nga, we were surprised that, that operations, when, eh. COO yeah. operations, talaga. Yeah. 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 So when the lockdown happened, parang push button, and then we just pretty much on. just tried to keep mm -hmm. managing it uh, mm -hmm. as uh, safely and sustainably as possible. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an idea how large? An operation you're actually talking about. Like, okay. How many plants? How yeah. many people? So we we operate six manufacturing uh, plants or facilities, mm -hmm. five of which are are um, let's say ran and operated by Century Pacific, and one is a toll manufacturer for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have people on the ground uh, with the toll manufacturer to ensure the quality. And you're talking of about uh, 18,400 employees across mm -hmm. six manufacturing plants. Mm -hmm. So we have okay. two plants in Jensan, uh, a, a sardine plant in Sambuanga. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a meat plant in Laguna, uh, dairy or milk plant here in uh, the metro, uh, plus another uh, toll packer in uh, Cavite. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the scope. Six manufacturing plants, 18,400 employees. And across, I think today we're somewhere around the 215th day since lockdown. Uh, we've been keeping uh, those plants operational uh, while keeping all of the employees safe. So that's a, that's a big challenge. But we're happy to say that uh, across uh, that long period of time, we've been able to uh, achieve parang 99.9% zero uh, workplace transmission wow. uh, okay. of the virus. So, kaya naman pala if, if you just set set in place the, the, the safety protocols. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember kasi during the, when the uh, pandemic was declared, no? nagkakaubusan ng pagkain. Mm -hmm. And we yes. really relied on canned goods. The pantry is <laughs> Yeah, like century tuna. <laughs> yeah. Na nauubos yeah. sa supermarkets <laughs> also. Diba? Parang it became our Good. essential during oh. the first right. months of quarantine. Yeah. And their other right. products. Because they have oh, other brands. Yeah, they yeah. Have oh, oh. Argentina. Argentina. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, 555. Bird yeah. Street. The, the yes, milk brand. Yes. Angel. Hunts. Yeah. So yeah, you mentioned na na ubusan sa supermarket. That's yes. what exactly what we are trying to to avoid. to avoid or prevent. So mm -hmm. we worked with the IATF, mm -hmm. uh, had the direct line with the DTI, uh, DILG, uh, LGUs uh, in coordinating uh, because that's as I mentioned, there's thousands of employees that we needed to bring into mm -hmm. the factory and back home safely, mm -hmm. and uh, while they are at the factory. Uh, keeping them safe, so uh, extensive screening, yeah. and then hand washing, mm -hmm. uh, and then while they're in the factory, we provided uh, masks, face shields, uh, regular sanitation of hands, and very strict protocols in terms of how to operate within the plant mm -hmm. and avoiding transmission of the virus. So mm -hmm. the canteens, for example, each table maximum occupancy was uh, three, and these are large tables. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they guard pa para to ensure na walang nagkwekwentuhan. <laughs> Kasi pa wala mag... Yeah, if, you are, yeah, if, if you have your mask off, you shouldn't be talking. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we really uh, worked okay. aggressively to, to prevent uh, any workplace mm -hmm. transmission. So as I said, 99.999% uh, uh, safe. Mm -hmm. Or uh, no workplace transmission, as as mm -hmm. we call it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the mark of his leadership, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. expertise. <laughs> so we're know? very glad to know that um, operations never stop, mm -hmm. for for century because that's very essential. Now you're the products you produce, and one thing that also didn't stop we, that you continued was the Century Superbugs event yeah. <laughs> that you launched way before the pandemic, yeah, right? yes, and you had a successful yes. launch also. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, tell us about that and why you decided to go on with it. Yeah, we've actually had the Superbugs for many years already. Uh, this is actually our 12th year, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's, a, it's a regular thing that the the 
let's say the consuming public or our our target market uh, would always look forward to. So it's like a model search, and wherein male and female, uh, uh, let's say individuals will uh, compete for the title of uh, Century Tuna yeah. Super Bowl for the year, so 2020, for example. So we thought it was going to be just another one of those super bad competitions. Um, and we had like a big one on the 10th year. So we were just pacing ourselves for this one. And we were um, set to do like a, a standard super bad. But then the pandemic happened. So um, I recall when the, in the early days, we would only get a few like 400, 500 aspirants. This time the con- competition has become so big. Uh, thousands came for the go sees but we normally cut it down to a few like 30 32 or so mm-hmm. 16 uh, 16 men 16 uh, females and then they get into the finals mm-hmm. uh, and then they go through different challenges uh, physical challenges as well as uh, mental challenges through throughout the competition until the finals but then the lockdown happened and we were thinking the yung relevance ng competition mm-hmm. um needs to be, we, we needed to do a rethink or a reset of sorts mm-hmm. because we didn't want to be talking about, you know, like abs and chests and and, and, and sexy bodies in the middle of a pandemic or, or as people's minds were somewhere else or in terms of health and safety. Right. So we we pivoted and we said, um, let's, let's uh, reformulate maybe the theme to stand for uh, staying strong uh, and being able to continue to do things despite of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So the theme was changed to Stay Strong Filipinas mm-hmm. um, uh, and continue to be a super bod. And uh, stay uh, w- while retaining that every bod, super bod uh, concept, meaning making it more of a popular thing rather than just for models. Mm-hmm. But I guess aside from models, kasi it also had uh, fitness coaches, uh, professionals who joined the competition, right. diba? Who right. were also vulnerable during kasi nagsara mga gym and all. Oh, yeah. right. So in a way, it's not just body, but as you said, nga, all about fitness because you had also people, professionals, aficionados who were into wellness at that. Right. Competition. The, the competition over the years has, start, has started to attract really a broad a uh, range of, uh, let's say, individuals and uh, people from different callings. So, may artista, the artista type, may beauty pageant type, and merong model, merong uh, fitness experts, but they're also regular people. So, we did Ageless um, yes. uh, the, the last time, mm. and it was like a big hit, and mm. therefore, more Ageless um, <laughs> aspirants came mm. uh, joined the competition. <laughs> So you have mothers, you have uh, dads, you had, um, let's say, theater uh, people yeah. participating uh, because it's very inclusive mm-hmm. and that's why we called it every bod, uh, super bod competition. Oh, so yeah. uh, that in essence is like triggering people to pursue a health journey despite mm-hmm. or in spite of where they are in their, in their fitness journey. I guess that's what sets it apart because that's the compelling message. Niya eh. Anybody can be fit, diba? Anybody can Any be a super age, bod. That's the beauty of the Century Tuna super bods throughout the years. Right, right. May mga transformation yung iba uh, oh. from like a regular Joe. Oh. Over a period of time, they become uh, really fit. And we've seen some of those transformations even from the start of the go see up to the finals. Oh. So it's very mm. exciting in that sense. Mm-mm. That was your brainchild, ba? Your transformation. Yeah. No, the super bod. The, the super bod idea. No, I can't. I can't take credit for it. Uh-huh. Uh, it was uh, one of the the brothers, uh, the Poe brothers, as you know. The founder is uh, Ricardo Poe, uh-huh. and he has four sons. One, the youngest son was the one who thought about the, like putting together like a model search, mm-hmm. and then with the ad agency, uh, the concept of super bod came to uh, fruition, and then uh, at that time. Uh, we were the ones who were tasked to execute it and make it like a big thing. So the, mm-hmm. I guess uh, brainchild of uh, Leo Po, mm-hmm. and then uh, kami naman yung nag, ano, uh, we we ran with the idea and made it big. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah, because when the pandemic happened, parang we all know how the usual events are handled, kenyan. Mm-hmm. But in this case, how do you pull off an event 
of such a magnitude na maraming mga participants and all. Right. But sir, before you answer that, we'll pause for a break muna. Alright, sure. Magsa shopping na lang ako! Hello, can you get the following? One pink chair, bed sheets, the pink yung sofa, tapos slide, size 8, pajamas na blue. Oh, don't forget that. Hashtag 143SM, call to deliver. Wait lang, okay ba yan? Anything at the SM store, ma'am. Call to deliver. Ay, call. Kuya, pwede ba ako magpa-deliver sa ate ko sa Taguig, tapos sa friend ko sa Davao, tsaka sa, ha, can't say ko sa lipa. Okay ba yan? Kahit saan po, pwede kami mag-deliver. Call to deliver. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Bakit kailangan ko pang pumunta sa bangko? Kung nga naman, sir, ba't kailangan pang pumunta sa bangko? Why not get a Ubi app? So you can do all these without going to the bank. Bank the way you live. Union Bank. And we're back. We're with our guest today, COO and EVP of Century Pacific Foods, Mr. Gregory Banzon. Sir, Hello, before we had our break, we're asking you, how did you pull it off? How did you pull off the Century Super Buds contest online? Became a virtual yes. contest, ano? Yeah, like I mentioned, normally the Super Bud competition is one of the most uh, anticipated uh let's say, pageants of sorts yes. uh, here in the country. Uh, it has like a big following, especially yes. among the health and fitness community. Mm. And um, it got bigger and bigger that we needed bigger and bigger venues to stage it. And the last mm. time was at mm. the Cove in Okada. Mm. So it was really a massive uh, venue and we had standing room and all of the other uh, auxiliary, uh, uh, let's say, decks within, uh, within the Cove had to be occupied just to accommodate everyone. But then mm. the pandemic happened and uh, there, there are guidelines from the IATF in terms of um, being able to put uh, activities in place. So I think the Fashion Designers Council of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Labor and uh, the Department of Health put together guidelines on um, how to stage an event. There was like a maximum headcount per event. And... Um, uh, protocols to be followed while uh, or during the event and prior to the event as well as after. So um, in the guidelines, it required that the security officer or a health and safety officer would be in place all the time and that certain guidelines needed to, fo to be followed inclusive of like a, a, a PCR test mm -hmm. five days before. Mm -hmm. And then for all of the participants, uh, there's a limited number of participants and then we had to do a PCR for everyone. And then on the day of the of the actual event, we needed to do a, an antigen test, uh, which is very sophisticated and sensitive to double check. Uh, aside from those who went through the PCR, they needed to go through an antigen test on the day of the uh, actual event. Mm -hmm. And we had to cut it up into smaller piece, uh, bits. So mm -hmm. because of the limited number of participants per day, Mail muna ang uh, screening and the male contestants um, because we could only fit 16 plus the cast and crew and the judges. Mm -hmm. And then the females the next day and then the finals on the third day. Mm -hmm. So we needed to cut it down to a smaller size until we would be able to. But then there, there was no audience. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just the judges. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Tapos, uh, we cut up the venue into three and there was no crisscrossing. So people who were allowed to go into zone three, they had specific roles. And then mm. mga zone two and uh, zone three, uh, may specific na individuals who could only stay within and no crisscrossing, except for the contestants themselves. Oh, oh. And then sure, we prepared yeah. 
individual pods for the contestants oh. backstage. So, walang mixing sa backstage. They had their own dressing rooms each. Oh, oh. I'm that, sure may, ano, ano, may guards. That must have yes, been... Oh, yes, yes. Oh. May security. That must have been weird kasi attending your past contest and there's always a cheering group for someone right. and the artistas right. come out with oh. their hot buds, sigawan, right. and how did you maintain that energy? Parang when I saw it on Facebook, ganun pa din. Ganun pa din, alive. Yeah. Everybody was I, just there moving. Right. I think to, to the credit of the contestants, uh, they brought their own A-game. Each one <laughs> um, had li- really high energy mm-hmm. and uh, I guess they used their imagination in terms of who they were projecting to. Mm-hmm. Of course, there were judges uh, as well. Um, individually segregated through plexiglasses and all of that, but <laughs> judges nevertheless. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's what I noticed. Um, every time they step stepped on stage, parang uh, game on yung mga contestants natin. So to the credit of all of our contestants, um, it was as if there was really a live audience there. Siyempre, I guess yun ang nagagawa ng mga ano, Century protein rich foods. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the, the choice of winners? So were you looking for anyone specifically? Like, uh, did your criteria change because of the pandemic? We had to change it a bit. Um, normally, we look for really people who can be an inspiration to uh, our, our general public, mm-hmm. um, who can represent the brand as someone who is living a healthy, fit, and therefore sexy lifestyle, um, and um, uh, be able to demonstrate ways by which people can stay fit and healthy, regardless of gender. We are gender neutral. And um, uh, who can represent, I guess, uh, the brand in a manner that uh, people will find inspiring. So we would have them go through like physical challenge mental challenges but given the pandemic the the situation of most people became very restricted at home so mm-hmm. from like a an open outdoor uh, econ- based economy mm-hmm. uh, the economy shifted downshifted to a uh, let's say a restricted as i mentioned yeah. a home based uh, uh let's say, lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So instead, we asked them to do video challenges, um, talking about how to consume fish every day, different mm-hmm. different uh, recipes by which uh, people can stay healthy to consuming tuna. And then we also made them do how to inspire people to be fit and healthy uh, by exercising at home. Mm-hmm. And then um, also being able to help out uh, in their advocacies. So mm-hmm. they uploaded videos, and you'd be surprised using camera phones and whatever uh, means uh, that each of the contestants had, mm-hmm. uh, like a world class production okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, by the contestants. Creative, talaga mm-hmm. Filipinos. Eh. Right. So as a winner, the, you already chose the two winners, uh, male and female. Will there be new things or new responsibilities that they'll be doing as the maybe brand ambassadors of Century Superbuds? Yes. Now we're really working on being able to populate online digital content that people will be able to continue to monitor and watch and mm-hmm. learn from mm-hmm. uh, in terms of being able to stay fit and healthy um, uh, through through this ambas- uh, through, through these ambassadors mm-hmm. and um, aside from the two winners uh, we also have very strong uh, second placers so I think we're going to form them into uh, units that will really be educating or reaching out to uh, consumers online mm-hmm. um, to continue ways by which you know staying fit uh, is, is not going to be a task but mm-hmm. something that they can enjoy. I can see you in your Facebook pages so, and Instagram also, yung Ingat Angat. Uh, yes. Yourself. Can you tell us more about it? I think that's their continuing campaign also, no? For the winners. Uh, for the meh, more of uh, information campaign on the pandemic, siguro. Right. So, Ingat Angat is like a campaign that was uh, put together by the uh, T3 task force. So, there's a task force of mostly, uh, let's say, the coming from the business community, leaders from the business community in partnership with the IATF mm-hmm. and s- several cabinet members, um, uh, CAPSEC, uh, Harry, 
Capsec, uh, Carlo. Um, so the task force T3 stands for um, uh, test, taste, uh, taste uh, trace, and treat. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to uh, be able to continue or open up the economy safely mm -hmm. uh, by making people go back to work, uh, go back to uh, regular activity, uh, but I'll be doing it in the safest manner possible. So several brands came together. Um, I don't know if I can mention, but um, even competing brands like Jollibee and McDonald's will share a frame to show unity towards yeah, bringing or lifting the economy uh, and uh, bringing the economy back safely uh, again. So it talks about um, the challenges that we've been through, but uh, that we can hurdle this if we work together. Uh, if we wear our face shields, our masks, uh, hand, uh, sanitize regularly, maintain distancing, and um, uh, by process of as well in the, in the process go through testing, mm -hmm. tracing if necessary, and treating uh, as needed. So ingat mm -hmm. is that campaign. Uh, we share I guess stage with so many other brands um, uh, that have generously contributed to that effort. I guess we were really in that stage where you have to look forward, move forward, and right. plan ahead post right. post quarantine or post pandemic, right. when, whenever that may be. But uh, on a personal, on the personal side, how are you and your family uh, embracing the new normal? How are you changing your lifestyle and uh, right. coping um, with the changes? I think what's hap what's been happening is. Uh, at the start, there was a lot of fear and you don't understand what was going on and you really, really need to study and, and look for information and the way forward mm -hmm. because you didn't want to get stuck. At night, what I pray for is that um, at least uh, to, be, to, to be kept free or safe from the, from the virus and that um, it won't impact our health uh, as well as our livelihood and our future. When I refer to the future, mm -hmm. I said, this is like a period where things stop. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you try to project, where is this going to go? Yeah. And what are the steps that you need to take mm -hmm. um, so that you're not stuck? And then you keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. So uh, my son, who is in college, is continuing to, uh, is back in, in, in class, but online. Na siya. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, as well as my other son, who is working. Uh, is also uh, we've been working from home, and that's the new normal, yeah. and we've had to embrace it uh, that way. My uh, same with my daughter. So from having like a regular job mm -hmm. in New York, she flew back here, and she's doing now mostly online uh, mm -hmm. freelancing work on the graphic design side, mm -hmm. and and she's actually earning, uh, a lot more. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, uh, equal or. Maybe not not better, but close to what she was earning when she was full time in the design field uh, in New York. Mm -hmm. So, marami opportunities din kasi sa transition to to online or digital, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so people are adjusting to it. But then at the same time, there is still a big part of the economy that needs to be you know very physical, mm -hmm. uh, like construction or transport or even retail to a certain extent. Some things you cannot retail. Uh, only digitally so um, yeah that's why in my case I have to be in the office a lot um, mm -hmm. to help coordinate our activities uh, both domestically and internationally mm -hmm. uh, you seem to be an outdoor type of person are yes. there yeah diba? very outdoor type of person mm -hmm. are there things on your wish list that you want to do when the pandemic is over or when it's Maybe safer, east, uh, to, safer go to go out you feel again. <laughs> yeah. Um, Siguro, uh, uh, yeah. W one of the tasks uh, that we've had is that so for Century Pacific, we are dominant players here in the Philippines, but we have been pushing our business internationally. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I've had to do with a, a, a team of uh, what we call Global Brands uh, Group um, you've had to travel and see our customers abroad. So um, I worry that if, so we stay in touch with our customers uh, through Zoom and digital mm -hmm. and all of that, but mm -hmm. then there's still that 
divided, di ba? It's yeah. iba yung kausap mo sa screen and then yeah. iba yung you actually have like a long conversation with your business partners or customers face-to-face -face, uh, internationally. So, I think that's the thing. Yung travel is, uh, or business travel, I worry, needs to kick kick in again. Um, and I'd like to be able to to do some of that. On the outdoor stuff, pwede na kasi ngayon eh. I still run, I still bike outdoors. Uh, yung pool is a bit of a challenge. Um, can't swim. So I have like a tiny pool at home, so I tie my legs to the to the ladder and swim, parang stationary swim. Uh, that's a that's a tip for training, no? Oh, for training, try it. Right. Well, wow, wow. Hopefully, we we'll get to travel also. Uh, you're right. Business travel is still quite a challenge right now. But uh, we'll move on to our next question. But before that, we'll have a break again from our sponsors. Thank you. That's it. Never thought self-service can be this slick. Modify plans in a snap. More lang hirap. It's a wrap. Just tap the app. Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew. Help and support for you. Out with the ring, ring apps or the in thing. You know what to do. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Self-service and easy to use. Mas okay tayo dyan. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Instant response. No hold time pa. Wala nang Download the Globe One and Globe at Home apps from Google Play Store. And we're back. And this is Perfect. I'm with Dina Ventura. And our guest today, Century Pacific Foods, Inc.'s uh, COO and EVP, Mr. Gregory Banson. We've been, yeah, we've been talking about navigating the new normal in terms of events or of putting up an event as big as Century Superbots, no? as well as... Uh, running a big corporation. Yeah, running a big corporation. And yet doing their share for the community mm -hmm. in times of pandemic. So now, Dina, why don't you introduce the I next mean, part yes, of our line of Because we're all really curious crap. about a man who's at the helm of such success, right? Yes. Yes. So we've been... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trolling your Instagram and we found some really interesting pictures that I think reveal so much about the man that you are, your different side. So uh, if uh, it's okay with you, we'll show some of those photos and maybe you can talk about uh, what it was about. Yes. Okay, so, I'm uh, <laughs> Let's start. <laughs> Uh, super bot endorser uh -oh. so um so that we had that moment na, na after the after the judging and while waiting for the results um we have, all of the judges were asked to go on stage and we were partners actually alice and myself are mm. were the tandem mm -hmm. so yeah and yeah we we're good friends um See, Alice is uh, has been our endorser for I guess two or three years already, mm -hmm. uh, making a big impact uh, mm -hmm. on the market and uh, on mm -hmm. because she's fifty one, but she doesn't look fifty one. Yeah, and, so good. Yeah. And and that's what we that's what we uh, she was what signaled the the big theme of uh, ageless uh, agelessness of the century tuna mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. super bot. The red. The red yeah, campaign, as we yeah, call it. Tama, tama, oh. si Dina. Yes. You remember. But I thought because that picture was like, um, if you were a contestant in Century Super Bowl, you were the first, right? Oh, naman. Naka-ano na sila, formal wear category. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but si Alice can always compete. I mean, she I, she will give everyone the run for their money. Yeah, right? Yeah. And her energy is very fit. We might say the same about you. Um, and we'll I prove it up. following the... Later, later, later. Later, later with the pictures. Okay. So next picture, please. Ayan. Ayan. Wow. Isa pa. Wow. This is Ina oh, Raimundo. Uh, Sabado nights. See, see, Ina is also... There was, that was a campaign. The red campaign was Sunshine, Ina, and um, uh, Alice. So, see, si Sunshine was active during the eliminations. So, she was the um, judge uh, in determining from the thousands to the last wow. 32. 
-hmm. And then si Ina was uh, a judge in the uh, final cut from 32 to 16. Mm -hmm. And then Alice was the judge uh, of the final 16 to determine mm -hmm. the winner. So mm -hmm. my progression. Yeah. So we, we all, because we've been at this campaign for a while, uh, we've all become good friends. Uh, uh, yeah. They're all very, they all have a very fit body. No? Oh, they never oh, stop oh, in oh, fitness, age. workouts, oh. proper nutrition. Kala ko kasi yeah, yung yeah. Anak, lifestyle. Ko yung picture na yun naman was like a promotion for your movie. Ayun. Nagawa mo na kaming movie. Oh, oh. Uh, it's Ang like, role ko, ano, security. security ah, so, so, the bodyguard. The bodyguard. The bodyguard. The bodyguard. The bodyguard. Yeah. Ay, to. Wow. Iba naman to. Mga sporty yeah. bikers or yeah. cycling? Yeah, uh, so I'm a triathlete. So mm -hmm. triathlon is swim, right. bike, and run all at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm among the pioneers. Uh, I've had years where we would I would be the age group winners because the competition is, is not like open. It's like according to age group. Okay. And in the picture with me was is uh, two-time Southeast Asian gold medalist uh, Nico Wil Wilgas. Wow. Uh, and Philippine record holder. How do you fit in your training time when you do when so you for, How early do you wake up? I can imagine. When there's like a serious competition, mga 430, 445, you're up, you're training by five, you train for about an hour and a half to two hours depending on the level of competitiveness that you want to achieve. Mm -mm. When and then the weekends get really crazy. Um, sometimes, if, it, if it's a full Ironman, because that's like a... You have to swim 3.8 kilometers mm -hmm. and bike 180 kilometers and then run a full marathon right after. Mm -hmm. So the bike entails some weekends you have to bike the 180 mm -hmm. and it takes at least six hours to seven hours to complete it. So you start at let's say 5 a.m. Oh, <laughs> <talaga. laughs> yeah, so sir, where do you go, south or north? Pag nagba bike kayo? I, I live in Alabang, so, oh, so okay. I have the benefit of also to have the option of biking inside the village, but it's like a hamster that you keep going in loops. Uh -huh. Or you bike to the south, um, to Cavite, sometimes wow. to Batangas, and back uh, at the same on the same day. And mm -hmm. sometimes you go to Novali, for example, which is a very bike-friendly community, so you mm -hmm. can bike around mm -hmm. there. But uh, limited also because you have to travel there. It's hard to... Mm -hmm. To, to bike all the way to Navali, I guess, because of the different access roads. So, most of the time in the south. So, I guess intense preparation then, no? Kasi it's a race. It's not a... Yes. yes. Commitment. Yes. Yeah. Oh, commitment talaga. Dedication, discipline, no? Pero, uh, Mr. Bonson is really an athlete. Kasi oh, oh. when he was younger, when he was in school, oh. I think you were in the track and field with your brothers. Is that yes, true? yes, yes. Um... Camille, we come from a generation of like uh, a family of runners in a generation where athletes were were really driven by commitment rather than you know like uh, incentives or yeah. or rewards, and uh, we were part of the track team of uh, La Salle, mm -hmm. um, and each each of us were like let's say MVPs in the years that we graduated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, both at uh, LSGH and at the LSU, um, then we would compete uh, both uh, uh, do domestically and internationally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I've not stopped running since I was 12. Okay. Uh -huh. so there hasn't been a week that I haven't run less than 10 kilometers maybe. Mm -hmm. So every week for the last many years, I've Next continued years. to train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a discipline. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll go on. The... <laughs> ah, ito naman. Ay, wow. Yeah. This, this, sir. Wala yan. Pagka-training. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there are lazy days. So, uh, that particular day, um, the group decided uh, less less cycling. Magkape na lang tayo. <laughs> and, and that's the beauty of the South. Um, you can stop in different places and have like coffee. Uh, yeah rather than pursue like that intense bike ride. So, tawag namin dyan, kwentuhan pace na lang, at saka kape-kape na lang kami. That's good. So, those are the things that you enjoy doing. What kind of 
food and drink do you enjoy eating? And Aside from co <laughs> caffeinating yourself, yeah. what else do you drink? <laughs> Actually, that was a decaf um, because I, I only drink <laughs> one caffeinated cup a day. Ah, the rest is decaf. Talaga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I eat regular, but then I, I eat um, measured. Uh, mm. Meaning, parang pag, I, if I feel, I do it according to feel. So I see the food and then I'm almost going to be full, so I stop. So, so but I eat a, a broad range of, of stuff. I'm not very disciplined in terms of like the selection. Uh, you don't have a particular diet you follow, like intermittent fasting or something, mm -hmm. keto. Many athletes do. <laughs> yeah, many athletes do. But in my case, as I said, we're old school. My brothers and I are old school, so we seem to still be in better shape than most people our age, or even most people younger than us so i think kind of works that you know uh we still are able to enjoy different types a wide range of food including century tuna or argentina mm -hmm. corn mm -hmm. beef yeah, man. Like yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> what's your favorite uh oh, no. presentation for tuna like how uh, do you like it prepared <laughs> yeah uh the, the the top two i guess would be every time i tell people uh, the best is you know you just uh, pop open a can of uh, century tuna hot and spicy, have hot fried rice prepared with garlic fried rice and <laughs> uh, scrap one egg on the side. <laughs> yun, talaga, masarap yun. Tapos may konting uh -huh. toyo, ka, toyo manse siguro sa oh, on the side. So that's yeah. always good. And then they're pa with pancit canton. <gasps> so yung pancit canton, you just heat it up but you add century tuna oh, on it. And um, we're finding out that more and more, it started out like as a dorm meal most people who live in dorms and mm -hmm. in college would eat century tuna with a pancit canton and a little uh, sila ng sky flakes oh. and we, oh. we tried it out and it's become very popular oh my sarap goodness <laughs> yeah sarap na <laughs> okay. let's show the next photo Oh, la. Ooh, ooh, la la. this is your model gig or something oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Now we have various brands, uh, so we also have 555 sardines, and see, we were looking for uh, an endorser who could connect with the uh, mass consumer, and see, Ivana Alawi is like uh, really a very popular YouTube yeah. and Instagram uh, celebrity, so we were the first brand to uh, sign her up uh, for an endorsement, and very, very successful. I've, I, I don't know if it's really known, but... Um, her yung TikTok video that she did for the brand hit 48 million views. Wow. So we, we were surprised. 48 million views. Kahit yung TikTok nagulat, eh, sino ba si Ivana? Because all of a sudden, you, you get 48 million views from from a uh, like a TikTok endor endorser in the Philippines. What was happening during that photo shoot? Mga napag-usapan nyo? Or what, eh, tsaka, what was she like? I'm very down to earth. She's like a regular person. Uh, you'd be surprised because uh, most people get intimidated by celebrity. Uh, but in our experience, most celebrities are very regular people um, and easy to relate with. And among uh, the usapan is like, of course, we thank them for accepting the endorsement, and then uh, we talk about how the campaign is going to run, and then. We get their inputs and ideas on what else we can do. And uh, they're very generous in their sharing of uh, ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there celebrities that you still want to tap? Parang practically yeah. everybody, no? From Mateo to John Lloyd Cruz, oh. kanyan. Oh. Yeah. Na sila. Uh, pa ba kayo in your list na hindi pa namin, naaabangan pa namin, pati si Alden and all, no? Mm -mm. Yeah, we we try to you know we try to stay in touch with uh, with the pulse of the public on who they like. Maine, we were I think the second or the yes. third brand to take her on to to endorse five 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 in the past. Mm -mm. So yeah, and so we really just keep one is ang tourist mm -hmm. in the marketing is to really understand what drives um, pop culture or uh, and. Yung mga nauuso. Um, so we still watch Tagalog movies, we read tabloids, mm -hmm. we um, view uh, digital content that I guess is mass oriented to really understand 
what the pulse of the consumer is and then we try to see which ones would really fit uh, fit the brand so we have high-end endorsers we have mass market endorsers and we have i guess mainstream mm -mm. all because we we stay in touch with our consuming public oh, it's so much anticipated uh rev reveal diba? Oh, whenever yeah. century or five i would say guess who's our newest endorser ibang klase May impact talaga. People await kung sino yung susunod. Ano na, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Next, eto na. Ay. Eto na ba? Sige, tignan natin ito. Okay. Ala. <laughs> oh, si <sorry, yan>, sir. <laughs> wow, walking the talk talaga. Yeah. Let's, uh, how do you call that? Uh, work in progress. So, so maybe five Humble. years ago, five years ago, I would have like a six pack, and then uh, there was a period where I had to do a lot of travel, and then during this lockdown, I figured running oras, I guess, because the tanggal yung travel time uh, during the lockdown, so I invested the time uh, before work started at eight or eight thirty. Um, I invested the time more on high impact training, uh, mm -hmm. not just mileage, because with mm -hmm. triathlon you do a lot of mileage mm -hmm. and strengthening. And um, I was surprised within like a few weeks, na naman yung abs. Sabi ko, oh, after four or five years, oh na so, okay. so I started, you know, focusing and working on it. So, uh -huh. <laughs> no, sir, good job. I hope, thank you. Uh, thank good you. job. Because uh -huh. uh, Francine, I was reading up on Greg mm -hmm. Manson and I found out that he used to dance the ballet. Oh, oh yeah. so you're you're really into like the body, the grace, oh, the oh, movement, oh, the form, oh. everything. So can you tell us a little bit about that and how that has helped you in your mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, so I mentioned when we started out as athletes for De La Salle, mm -hmm. and then uh, my sister has like a dance school. And um, she was saying, wala kaming male dancers, pwede bang stand-in muna kayo. So, you know, my brothers and I said, of course, supportive of our sister. Uh, we, went, we, went, we went into it. And I guess we were natural talents. Um, we, we, I ended up being uh, a part of the Philippi uh, Ballet Philippines Dance Company. Wow. Oh, great, um, right? And uh, also a, a company member in other dance companies here in the Philippines, Dance mm -hmm. Theater mm -hmm. Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, Theatrical Ensemble, my, my sister's and brother-in-law's uh, dance group. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. So it, it became like a second profession for mm -hmm. for most of my college, uh, college life and after college. Uh, I was working with Citibank, but I would, so banker by day and Dance like ballet sa gabi. That's very interesting because I know of football players, basketball players right. who are really being asked to learn ballet because for agility, yeah. flexibility. It helps. Yeah. it helps with the, you know, with the coordination and all of that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, culture as well. So I, I got exposed to theater mm -hmm. um, and production and it helps with the marketing work that i do now yeah. i have like an eye for timing and sound and music and visuals mm -hmm. and creating an emotion uh in invoking an emotion in our audience when we make tv commercials whether it's laughter happiness anger uh, sadness mm -hmm. these things you learn through the theater never think of uh, I mean I'll, I'll be thinking of these things when I'm eating century tuna Ayun. yeah <laughs> and I want to try that pancit canton <laughs> recipe so legend masarap yun crunchy sure. and ano, savory and noodly <laughs> don't throw away the sauce I mean just yeah. take the whole can just pour it on oh really yes I like that Actually, gusto ko yung spiciness ng ano eh. Hot and spicy. Yeah. Tamang-tang. Yeah. Ako, I make my tuna pasta. Oo, syempre. With century, hot and spicy only. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, Nagyabang eh. And I make my salad ni Shua with century tuna. Francine, <laughs> nabibitin na naman yung Kaya ating conversation. Kaya eh, nga We're out of time again. Yes. And we're okay. here with some, a very interesting person, really so multifaceted, and we're so privileged oh, to have. What a rich had, life, yeah. diba grabe? Had this yeah. afternoon to get to know you a little bit more. We'd love to like 
pick your brain some more about your marketing. <laughs> but, anytime, <laughs> anytime. But uh, for now, I think, diba, we have to yes make way for the next show. Uh-huh. So, okay. <laughs> may part two tayo with uh-huh. Mr. Banson. <laughs> may demo. May, may, may dance, cooking demo. De- dance, dance and cooking demo naman. Uh-huh. Pwede, pwede, pwede. And TikTok. <laughs> and TikTok. <laughs> so, Francina. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. So, I guess parang a big part of what you've gone through, no? Really helped you to where you are right now. The discipline of an athlete. Creative. The flair of an artist. Mm-hmm. And maybe the also the agility of uh, maybe how you grew up. Mm-hmm. Can you give us a message to our uh, katribot right now who probably are still... Wanting to find out how do you navigate the new normal, but in your case, you were just deep diving into doing things, just yeah, go, go, go. Oh, yeah, right? eh. <laughs> even putting up the first virtual contest like uh, As Century Superbots. Right? Yeah. Right. No, like I said, I think, first of all, congratulations on the name of your uh, the, the show, uh, mm-hmm. per- Perfect. Thank it's, you. Uh, Dina and Francine, you're uh, like a good. Like combination, oh. it's very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> enjoyable to have a conversation with you, you. Um, and uh, to the Daily Tribune for really uh, innovating and continuing to move forward with engaging with the public through shows like this. Yeah. Um, and then yung Katribu ng Tribune. That's the same name as our La Salle Green Hills Batch uh, eighty one. Oh. Uh, Katribu eighty one ang tawag sa amin. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we are one tribe. We are one and Katribu. So, <laughs> shout out to all the Katribus out there. <laughs> uh, it's like a very famous batch. You know, we have Francis Pangilinan. Oh, we have uh, the president of Ayala Land and uh, the head of the brothers here in the Philippines. Uh, so it's like a very, very uh, diverse batch. Um, I guess to the question, um, so... You're given a, you don't know how many years you have in this world. So um, what I've tried to do is really explore uh, and see where I can take my energies. So uh, balancing both uh, academics, uh, the arts, sports, and still being able to have like friends to uh, share the, those moments and, and, and ultimately form into memories with. And... Um, be, being cautiously optimistic about uh, everything. Mm-hmm. So like I said, we have 18,400 employees across six plants over 200 plus days that we've been able to keep safe um, because we thought out the situation and said we, 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 we manage ourselves from being reckless, uh, but at the same time being optimistic. And we've been able to keep everyone safe so far. Um, so it can be done if you are very careful and deliberate about uh, moving things forward um, and looking at the like the opportunities out there and pursuing them in in I guess in a, in a, as an intelligent way uh, possible. Wow, that's napaka inspiring, no? And to borrow a la- uh, a description from your Instagram. You also captured our heart today. I hope. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for spending some time with us. Yes. And thank you for inviting us. Dina Ventura. And I'm Francine you, Marquez. And this, this has been, been Perfect. Perfect with Mr. Greg Blanson.
Ang Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators o POGO ay isang legitimate business entity na nagbibigay serbisyo sa offshore gaming para lamang sa mga manlalarong nasa abroad sa pamamagitan ng internet. Ang mga serbisyong handog nito ay katulad ng casino games at sports betting na pwedeng laruin kahit wala sa casino. Sa Pilipinas, walang POGO operators. Tanging POGO service providers lamang dahil nagaganap ang mga laro sa labas ng bansa. Bilang bagong mag-asawa, sabay kami natututo sa buhay. Sabay rin namin inaaral ng mga bayarin sa bahay. Kahit kami, nagtaka sa biglang laki ng electricity bill namin. Huwag pong mga bang maputulat. Sinisigurado ng Meralco na walang disconnection hanggang September. Estimated bills lang ang natanggap natin ng March, April, at para sa ilan, May. Dahil sa lockdown, isang tabi to para hindi na maguluhan. Ang May o June ay actual meter reading na. Kung May, nagka-actual reading, ibabawas dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang tatlong buwang konsumo. Kung estimated reading sa May at June nagka-actual reading, ibabawas din dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran. Hanggang apat na buwang konsumo, walang labis. Tandaan, kung ano lang na konsumo, yun lang ang babayaran. Ako po si Mateo G. At ako naman po si Sarji. G? G!